amazing and some of the accessories that X Pro 2. <laughs> oh, all right. We are currently in Maui working on a few projects. Also have a wedding coming up here. But today I wanted to talk about something that honestly, I feel like a lot of you guys may get upset about um, because it's been a staple on my channel for quite some time. But I think it's finally time I hang up the ropes and uh, really kind of share why I'm doing this. Let's get into it. All right, so I wanted to make a video today to talk about a controversial decision that I recently just made to kind of say goodbye to Fujifilm as a whole. Now, this is not to bash Fujifilm. In fact, I really, really still love their cameras. Uh, it's just that recently I've found that they haven't really been inspiring me to go out and shoot with them. And as you know, I've shot with the Fujifilm X-Pro2 for quite some time. In fact, it's probably three to four years. I've been shooting with the X-Pro2 I've made so much content about it on my channel, made so many different Fujifilm recipe videos, but I gotta admit, you know, as of late, it just hasn't really been something that I wanted to go out and shoot with. And uh, for that reason, I kind of have said goodbye to that camera, as well as most of my Fujifilm gear. Now, I gave Fujifilm a chance. I tried the X-T4. I picked up and used F X-T3. I ended up returning both, and it just wasn't really for me. And I don't know if it's maybe just the cameras that I was using in particular, or maybe I just kind of gotten dull from shooting with Fujifilm cameras, but I don't know. There just comes a time where you, you feel like you need something new and you feel like you want to refresh and restart. And uh, Fujifilm cameras just haven't really been doing it for me. So not to bash Fujifilm, they are great cameras. In fact, I think they are probably the future when it comes to uh, mirrorless cameras. Now with that said, I had to really think about this decision and figure out what camera was going to be best for me. Now my main workhorse camera for my street photography work is my Leica M6. And uh, you know, there are days where I just don't want to shoot film. I, I want to go out and I want to shoot a digital camera. And the X-Pro2 in the moment wasn't really fulfilling that for me. So there are a couple of things that I realized I wanted from a new digital camera. Uh, and that was one, I didn't want it to be like a Sony a7 IV or you know, a Leica R6 or anything like that, because uh, as you guys know, I shoot professionally with my Sony a7 IV and my a7 III, and when I look at those cameras, to me, they just scream, clock in, you know, like, let's get some work done, you know, this is professional jobs most of the time, working with different clients, and so uh, the creativity doesn't really speak coming from those cameras, they're more so just workhorse cameras, and uh, that kind of led me into realizing that, one, I needed some type of smaller camera that I could take on my travels with me and I wanted it to be sort of like a rangefinder style camera and I guess the last piece of criteria that I really wanted from a new camera was that I wish it would be versatile you know I shoot a lot of video as well online and so a camera that could do some type of video would be great uh, but mostly also photo capabilities you know I'm not very picky with my cameras but in this certain scenario I feel like I need to make a decision that is going to benefit both sides of what I do. And you know what, it was really tough. I went online, I looked for different cameras, you know, literally made, not a spreadsheet, but like I just compared and contrasted the benefits of three different cameras that I came down to. And ultimately I came down to one and that one camera is actually currently what I'm recording this video on, so I hope it looks good. But number two, it's also a camera that I've been using this entire trip in Maui and I've made countless number of photographs and so far you know what i don't want to get ahead of myself but i am really really loving the way the images look from this camera and uh, i'm going to share more about this camera with you when we head down to the town to grab some coffee
All right, you guys, so I just landed from Hawaii probably like 25, 30 minutes ago, just got home. So I turned the camera on. I just wanted to start talking really quick. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the new camera, what I like about it so far, but also kind of just share some sample photographs because I took it all around Maui. We made a ton of different photographs and uh, I want you guys to see firsthand what the Fujifilm replacement looks like. And I promise you guys, I'm almost confident 95% of you guys won't even guess what the camera is. But before we jump into that, I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsor for this episode, which are the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. With Squarespace SEO tools, you can create a stunning website within minutes. You simply just choose one of their award-winning templates, start dragging and dropping your photographs, and voila. Squarespace also offers flexible payment options, so when your clients go online to book you, they can pay pretty much however which way they want. And one of my favorite features is the e-commerce shop, where you can sell prints, you can sell merchandise, you can sell your services, etc all in one place under your own domain. So if you don't have a website already and you are a photographer looking to present yourself online, head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes and enter promo code kingjapes at checkout and you guys can get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All right, so I pulled this camera out of the closet because, you know, I wanted to show you guys the last remnants of the Fujifilm cameras that I own. This is the only Fujifilm camera and lens that I currently own, apart from maybe the Viltrox lens, which I don't even have around right now. And the only reason why I didn't let this go is because it's super slow. Um, they don't go for much online, but it has the one thing that I really, really love Fujifilm for, and that is the film simulations. Now, speaking of the new camera in Hawaii, I literally went around the entire island of Maui and took photographs of everything. Uh, whether that was landscapes, I did a little bit of street photography, but you know, there wasn't really much going on. And the good news is I got a really nice feel of the camera. I really like the way it operates. I love the way it looks. But the one thing that I noticed that was lacking is the fact that the images straight out of the camera just look a little too clinical, just a little too, like it just lacked character. And I think that's where Fujifilm has a huge advantage in the street photography world. You know, you have built-in film simulations in pretty much all their cameras. So you can have classic Chrome. Oh my goodness, I remember like the Kodachrome preset that I had, the portrait preset that I put into my X-Pro2. Oh, maybe I made a bad decision, but those were gorgeous. Those were the best film simulations. And I actually have a video about it. If you wanna check it out, I'm gonna put it in the cards up here. After around two or three days shooting with the new camera, I noticed that I really missed those film simulations. And they almost affected the way I shot with the camera because now I feel like I'm just shooting with a brick. You can recover highlights, you can recover your shadows, etc. But it doesn't really give me that look and that feel of like, I wanna step out of the car and make a photograph. You kinda of have to just force yourself to go out with the camera. You know, you really can't emulate the Fujifilm film simulations in Lightroom. Maybe you could get pretty close and I'm sure there's people out there who sell presets, but I don't have those presets. Now, here is the plan. I go to New York in about a week. I'm not gonna reveal the camera in this video, but I'm still gonna be showing you guys these sample photographs, like I said. I want you guys to comment down below what camera you think it is, because I can almost guarantee you 90 percent of you, maybe 95% of you guys will not guess what camera I'm shooting with. It's not what you think it is. But like I said, I'm going to New York in a week and I'm going to thoroughly test the camera there because I feel like I didn't get to test the street photography capabilities of this camera uh, in Maui. In that video, I will be revealing what camera it is, how I edit the photographs, some of the really insane features like the panoramic um, images that I have been making recently with it. And I'm going to give you guys my verdict on whether or not I'm going back to Fujifilm or I'm sticking with this camera. And I think that's the wire it's going to come down to. I'm going to test it in New York. If I don't like it in New York, I'm going to ditch it and go back to Fujifilm and probably get like an X Pro 3 or something like that. But for now, what do you guys think of the images? Um, I'm pretty sure they're sharp. I've added some film grain to it so that you can get, you know, that film simulation feel. And in terms of user experience, it's a very handsome camera. Man, it is a really handsome camera. I'm looking at it right now and it's gorgeous. And I'll give you guys a hint. It's a rangefinder styled camera. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that, but it is a rangefinder style camera. I really hope I made the right decision, but that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm very curious to see how this is going to perform in New York. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any tips or you know, suggestions for editing in Lightroom. Uh, if you have like a preset pack that maybe I could check out or something like that. It's always nice to learn from other photographers in the community, but that's gonna wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. And just remember, stay tuned until the next video so you guys can see the reveal of the mystery camera. All right, I'm out. As always, Minolta Gang. <laughs>